So let's say I have this data, um, and this data is the, the number of donuts I eat a month. Right? So this month kind of took it light, five donuts. But typically you can see I eat somewhere around seven to eight donuts a month, right? Not healthy, but they're delicious, and um, I live in a town that is filled with great donuts. Um, so let's say my brother comes into town, uh, Joe, right? So Joe comes into town, and we decide, you know what? Let's celebrate. That month with Joe, I'm going to eat 150 donuts. Uh, assuming that there's 30, months, uh, 30 days in a month, we're talking about five donuts a day uh, that I'm eating, right? So when Joe's in town, I, I kind of gorge out. So the question is, what's going to be affected um, most by this? Uh, is the median of this data going to be affected, or is the mean? So the median is the center number, right? Um, and the mean is we, uh, we add them all up and then, and then divide by like the total number of them, right? So what this thing right here is called, it's called an outlier. Um, and I'm 95% sure that's how you spell outlier. Uh, and mean is very, the mean is very affected by outliers because it's treated like all the other numbers. It gets added up and divided, right? Um, try finding the mean uh, by adding all these up and dividing by, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Try adding those up and dividing by 11. Now add that number in and divide by 12. Um, and see which one's higher. You'll see that a 150 really affects it. The median is really good because it's outlier proof, right? So what the median says is, let's line them all up and let's cross out that, that gorge month with Joe and let's cross out that, that month I only ate five and let's still find that middle number. So that outlier is crossed out. So the median is kind of outlier proof. So with this data, I would expect the mean to be far higher than the median because of that outlier. If the outlier was on the low end, um, let's say that I always ate 150 donuts a month, and one month I ate five, right? So the outlier would be on the low end. That would bring the mean down. So the mean always fires, uh, follows the outliers.